I'm going to read some pieces from my most recent book, uh, Several Dances. Um, my unit of composition is the book rather than the poem as such. In fact, to my own mind, I don't really use the term poem. Um, I use the term piece, which is more accurate in my case. Uh, for many decades, um, I was writing books that interconnected with the Things That Happen project. That was a 25-year project of eight books. And when I finished that uh, in 2009, I pub published a standalone book, Humming. And all this time, um, these books were almost by everyone referred to as collections. Um, but I never collect. I build, demolish, polish, destroy, refurbish, uh, but I don't collect. So I began to think about the obsession with collection. And in a way, um, Several Dances is a pseudo collection. It takes some characteristics, some energy, I hope, from um, the, the idea of collecting. Uh, but it's a false collection. It has false ends. The pieces in the book uh, echo each other and quote each other. It's not like a normal collection on at least one level. I work by motifs rather than images and metaphors and so on, um, which I don't really have much interest in. Um, my first book in the big family of books, The Things That Happen Project, had the motifs of movement and money. Um, in this case, um, I, let the, I, I modulated the motifs in a kind of logical sequence from uh, descending uh, a, a prepared block on paper, say, and then the motif of printing, and then the motif of replication, and then the motif of echo. Um, so none of this, though, will really be evident in a, a short reading of a few uh, discrete pieces. But I thought I'd talk about the base from which I work anyway. The first piece from several dances that I'll read is on a dark ground work dance. Past a post postage stamp stuck sideways to the side of a bookshelf, going nowhere in particular just now, past memory flashes in tight, dark tangles open to the least access of light, stopped formally in code and in ink on paper in rows, blank, wrapped up in stillness and expectation, and past a weather here, then another there, passing beyond past future, coiled two, three together, weathers hitting the roof with a red herring once in a blue moon, white as a sheet in a black mood on a red letter day, and so on. A jumble, then two more, one ornate, one Spartan. Take note, coming all the way down to treetops laughingly referred to as Pass that through several nests, one in particular I remember, oh, down along an up-tilting branch through the bark, the feathers, the downy warm woven against the storm. Pass that, sun catching green cloth through glass. Here we go, thorns, spindles, twigs, new and autonomous additions to the world, not representations of it, cackled an elderly stretcher behind a canvas, all dried up, scrap that, sip your tea, Cranach the younger, scully the unsubmissive, a tiny scalded insect from a desk lamp shade, for instance, to the page top, until he was well loved, your very breath disappears it, holding the falling world. He was well loved as an artist and as a man, holding the falling world well. What is that figure turning into the doorway to go? A skull remembers embers to reinvigorate me, 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 me. So I'll deal you plastic squares of the absurd while you shuffle the possibilities of the ridiculous over there, okay? Done. Intent at desk in shed, relaxed at table, reading in bed, working, dreaming, breathing, drinking tea, Spearing fish, spelling it out, wondering, wandering, pondering, weaving a willow basket or two on the damp riverbank, billows of mist over water at dawn. Rules, the ludicrous, the fragile, the, inde the indefensible. Give me some money. Give me some money to live. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work well. I'm willing to work well and apply what talents I have to the job. You will not get all of me, no, but I'll not get all of your money. Give me some money. Give me some money now. 